Welcome to the series of Relational Database Management System. Myself is Fatima Rafiq, Assistant Professor, Abid Ramdas Senior College, BCA Department. We have already started with the transaction management. In the last lecture, we have covered the problem of concurrency. Today, we will see the schedule and type of schedules in detail. Schedule, it is a series of operation from one transaction to the another transaction is known as schedule. It is used to preserve the order of operation in each of the individual transaction. Whenever you consider the schedule, actually we can divide the schedule into three parts. Serial schedule, non-serial schedule and serializable schedule. What is serial schedule? The serial schedule is a type of schedule where one transaction is executed completely before starting the another transaction. In the serial schedule, when the first transaction completes its cycle, then the next transaction is executed. Like for example, if you have a transaction T1, T2, which is present in the schedule S, so in the according to the serial schedule, T1 will getting executed first and after T2 will getting executed its complete execution. So here this is called a serial execution of transaction. Like for example in this figure again you can think of a schedule A which is having transaction T1 and T2. So for example the transaction T1 and T2 uh, having some operation. If it is have no interleaving of the operation then there are two possible outcomes. We can execute all the operation of T1 and followed by T2 or what we can do? We can execute all the operation of T2 and followed by all the operation of T1. So if the transaction is like this where the one uh, in one particular schedule transaction are executing one after the other, this is called serial schedule. Then we have non-serial schedule. Uh, the non-serial schedule is actually opposite of serial schedule. If the interleaving of operation is allowed, then there will be no, no there, there is, that, that is called non-serial schedule. It contains many possible order in which the system can execute the individual operation of transaction. For this particular case, we can expect one schedule which is combination of multiple transactions and the amount of uh, instruction which is executed from T1 and T2 will vary according to the uh, processor where it is actually getting executed. So there is no such order which is preserved when we consider non-serial schedule. The next is serializable schedule. The serializability of a schedule is used to find the non-serial schedule that allow the transaction to be executed concurrently without interfering with the one another. Like in the um, concurrent execution of transaction actually we have seen multiple advantages uh, which we are getting when the transactions are getting executed simultaneously. In serializable schedule, if we consider a serial schedule is serializable, so what our aim is? Our aim is to find one particular schedule which is actually a non-serial schedule, but we want that schedule to be give a output same as the serial schedule. It identify which schedule are correct when the execution of transaction have interleaving of their operations. A non-serial schedule will be serializable if the result is equal to the result of its transaction which is executed serially. If you have a schedule which is actually executing non-serially but it is producing the result same as serial schedule. At that time we say that the schedule is serializable. Now what is serializability? When the multiple transactions are running concurrently, then there is a possibility that the database may be left in consistent state. Serializability is a concept that help us to check which schedule are serializable. And what is serializable? We just saw what is serializable. A serializable schedule is the one that always leaves the database in the consistent state. Now what is serializable schedule? A serializable schedule always leave the database in the consistent state. A serializable schedule is always serializable, uh, serializable schedule because it is in the serial schedule. A transaction only starts when the other transaction finishes the execution. However, non-serial schedule needs to be checked for the serializability. We already know that when we have a type of schedule, there is a serial schedule and non-serial schedule. If you consider serial schedule, it is always serializable. 
but when we consider non serial schedule we need to just check it we need to check for the serializability a non serial schedule of n number of transaction is said to be serializable schedule if it is equivalent to the serial schedule of those n transactions like for example if you have a one transaction which is the non serial transaction or non serial schedule but if it is producing the result same as a serial schedule we say that that non serial schedule is serializable a serial schedule does not allow concurrency only one transaction execute at a time and the other transaction when already running the transaction then it is finished the main objective of serializability is to find the non serial schedule that allow the transaction to execute concurrently without interfering and producing the result uh, the resultant database con in consistent state so that uh, uh, what our aim is our aim is the transaction should be executed simultaneously but it should produce what it should produce the consistent result it should produce the result same as serial schedule now when we consider serializability there are two type of serializability conflict serializability and view serializability now what is conflict serializability conflict serializability define two instruction of two different transaction accessing the same data item to perform the read write operation see conflict happen when actually we know that whenever transaction is executed it is a combination of read and write operations if all the uh, instructions which is in t1 and t2 if it is not um, uh, accessing the same data item we say that these are instructions are non interfering instruction this but if the transaction t1 and t2 is operating on the same data item at the time conflict can occur in the situation where the right operation is actually executing it deals with detecting the instruction that are conflicting in any way and specify the order in which the transaction should execute in case if there is any conflict in the conflict serializability actually we need to identify what are the operations which are conflicting operations and then we need to order them accordingly so they the, they should not uh, create the conflict a conflict serializability arises when one transaction instruction is in the right operation one of the instruction if it is a right operation at that time there is a possibility of conflict serial conflict in the conflict serializability now what are the conflict operations to become a conflict operation uh, this condition has to be satisfied number 1 both belong to the separate transaction they have the same data item like for example if i have transaction t1 and t2 both belong to the separate transaction a one is t1 and another is t2 and both are using data item a so it is a conflicting operation they have the same data item that is and they contain at least one write operation like if the transaction is using only the read 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 operation it will never create a conflict but if the operation is a combination of read and write at that time there may be a conflicting operations so these are some conflicting operations where we have read and read so the the, the possibility here s1 and s2 is logically actually equal remember read and read there are thousands of read are present it will never create a conflict it is a non conflicting operation but if we have a read and write and write and read operation then this operation is creating a conflict it is a conflict creating operation so this is all about conflict serializability we'll continue the same topic how to identify the conflict serializability in the next lecture i hope this is clear to you if you find any difficulty any problem you can write in the comment box thank you